Greetings everyone and welcome to Batocera Nation. Today we're going to look at the latest version of Batocera, which is Batocera version 30 or version 5.30. And once again, the developers have done a tremendous and awesome job with Batocera. So let's go ahead and look at the latest additions to Batocera version 30. So here's the change log to Batocera version 30. Foremost, for those of you who have a Raspberry Pi 4, you cannot upgrade it within Batocera itself. You have to do a manual reinstallation of Batocera version 30. There's support now for all Droid Go Super. Uh, in fact, among the different operating systems for all Droid Go Super, uh, Batocera version 30 is the best one out there by far. There's support for Orange Pi. Uh, there's been some new emulators added to Batocera version 30, including Melon DS. Uh, Sega Model 3, I uh, was looking so forward to that. Uh, some new games, support for Half-Life. Uh, there's also support for some game engines out there. Uh, again, some more emulators have been added to it. There's also support for Mugen, which is a 2D fighting game engine, really popular since the days of DOS. I'm sure a lot of people who are great fans of Mugen will absolutely love that within Batocera. Redream has also been added to Batocera. If you don't know about Redream, it is by far the best Dreamcast emulator out there, bar none. So I'm so happy and excited that Batocera has now finally added support for Redream. There's also support for Adobe Flash, Pi 40 support as well, uh, improvements for Wine, which is supposed to help you play Windows compatible games. The new systems also have been supported for the Bezel project. Uh, the PS2 emulator now has support for up to eight players. Retro Achievement has also been rewritten. We also have some new scrapers for Batocera, which is great, including manual scraping. The image viewer has also been upgraded with some new features within Batocera. And, of course, the emulators that which were already there have been upgraded to the latest revisions. And PS2 emulator has also been bumped up with some performance improvement. And one of the final things, we have a new trash can uh, and within the file manager which helps us to delete things. And last but not least, you can now finally install Batocera on a hard drive that's larger than 2 terabytes. In the past, it wouldn't work. So if you're trying to create uh, a gaming console with a huge hard drive, you can finally install Batocera on it without any problems. For our next video segment, I'm going to go ahead and create a tutorial on how to get Sega Model 3 up and running within Batocera. There's some things you need to do to get the work just right, including configuring your game controller. So I'm going to show you all the steps you need to do to get it up and running in no time. So I look forward to that, and thank you for coming, and I'll see you next time on Batocera Nation. Bye.